Hey guys, I'm Sai. Welcome to Ace Podcast Nation. On the channel, you get interviews, podcasts, and content on all sorts of subjects from MMA, football, other sports, mental health, anything you can think of. We pretty much talk about it, conspiracy theories, and alike. YouTube.com slash Ace Podcast Nation. And, uh, of course, the audio and video versions at all the usual platforms. I'm here today for another exclusive MMA interview. And I'm talking to Bellator welterweight Lewis, the foot long. How goes it, my friend? You all right? Yeah, really good, thanks, man. So, it uh, seems like the appropriate uh, place to start. You've got a fight coming up on, uh, is it Bellator 247? Against uh, Gianno Gianni. Yeah. Malilo, got to get his name right. Uh, and uh, you all all set for that, mate? Yeah, mate. Uh, in fairness, I, I, I really can't wait. I can't remember being this excited for a fight in a long time. Um, yeah, yeah, I'm just waiting to get in there. All my, you know, most of the guys are, are away competing already. So I yeah. got this extra week in um, in limbo sort of thing, you know, where I can't, can't spar or anything, but... Yeah, it's nice because like, I'm having a really nice recovery week. You know, plenty of plenty of runs, looking at my weight. You know, loads of yoga, but still, I'm just like still limbo in it. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, I still feel like I'm waiting to fight. You know, so it must have been difficult for fighters. Like the last six months have generally felt like limbo for most people, but I think with fighters, obviously, they got a un- unique mindset anyway, um, and obviously, it's been a time where training and sparring has been more limited you know probably than ever before um have you find that found that difficult in like uh, coming into fight camp and getting ready for this fight now yeah i mean you know we've had, we've had to play things all by the government safety you know um but yeah well you know but i think yeah. um, with, with a lot of fighters and things like that, it's given them a, a a time to look at themselves look at their career uh, you know when they because everyone's so thankful to have MMA back now and have partners. Oh, yeah. You know, th- thankful to have this sparring partners back. There. Everyone's looking at it with a different, um, uh, different, different set of eyes now. You know, whereas before, not so bothered about who's there. As long as you've got your one friend there, now you know, you're just so thankful to have er- anyone and everyone back in the gym. You know, <laughs> till tonight, yeah. obviously. Like, do you um, like the last couple of fights have been up and up and down for you? But uh, you feel ready now to this one? You feel motivated and focused? Yeah, the, the time off is really, was really good, to be fairness. I mean, it, um, yeah, I wouldn't say rejuvenated me or anything, but again, give me a, a reason to come, not come back, but, I, you know, you have a bit of time off and come back to it, and now I've, I've really, ramped, really ramped it up. Um, I've had plenty of time to work on myself as well uh, throughout lockdown. Um, as well with a few of my students, so because I mean I'm, I'm gonna kick this guy's ass. Like I mean, it's just, I don't. I'm not normally that outspoken, you know. But yeah, I am, yeah, I am, you know, in no uncertain terms, I'm gonna whoop his butt uh, and the next consecutive few fights. So, do you um, do you know much much about him? Have you seen much of him? Yeah, I've seen a bit of him. I mean, I wanted to fight him on cage a while back. But I think he's um, you know, no one. No one to be taken lightly in this sport. There's so many ways to win and lose. But um, yeah, I think he's just. I couldn't see that he's got any major skill, but not skill. But like he's an MMA fighter, you know, he's on like, yeah. a, a huge grappler, or you know, you don't see. But you know, so you, you don't know. Do you? It's not much, not much footage, footage of him on the ground. So he obviously good, able to get back to his feet pretty well. So I'm sure we'll put that t- to the test somewhere, but. You know. Indeed. Um, so, what I like to do with these interviews is I like to ask uh, some general MMA questions. But before that, I do like to ask the fighters to give their uh, their their prediction of how the fight might how their how their fight is going to finish. Uh, how are you going to finish your fight? I'll stop him. I'll stop him definitely. Um, I want. I, I don't want to. Don't want to do it too early. Yeah. I'm not saying I got the up, but like I want to. Like I normally have quite a abrupt fight. Mm. I want to get I want to get a bit more time in the cage um, and not rush too much. But yeah, I can, I can see me just running in there and you know doing whatever I do anyway. But yeah. yeah, some some big fights on that card as well. Um, Gracie's fighting and uh, Paul Daly and Derek Anderson obviously in the main event as well. Who's, and uh, who's the, the theme, yeah, uh, Kaiwan Gracie versus a name which I cannot pronounce. 
Um, and also, Paul, like Paul Daly versus Derek Anderson in the main event looks like uh, an interesting fight. And I also... Say again, go on. I don't know Derek Anderson. I mean, Sendex, of course, we all know Sendex. Yeah, yeah. I'm look. I haven't. I haven't. I don't think I've seen Paul Daly fight for a while. Like, I think I haven't watched his last couple of fights, and um, I'm really looking forward to seeing uh, seeing what he can do. Obviously, in the main event slot, and um, Kate Jackson is uh, someone who's a British fighter. She's highly rated, fighting in the co-main. Oh, she's on the prelims. I apologise. Versus uh, Denise Kai Holtz, and uh, there's uh, another you know Welshman. Is? So have, you got, have you got the uh, list of the fight order? The, I have, uh, yeah. I haven't got the order. It's just uh, just a list of fights. But it, it's got everything bar the main event as a prelim. So I don't know how accurate oh, it is. Oh, but, right. um, uh, but obviously your fight's on there. There's another Welsh guy on there, uh, Bobby Pallet, uh, who's fighting Justin uh, Berlinson. I'm not uh, as familiar with Bobby as I am with yourself. Could you tell me I, anything about I him? Can't. I can't say I've ever heard of him, but he trains yeah. out of a hammer, so he's scouts. But yeah, that'd I mean, be interesting. Can't, I'm can't looking really, forward to that. Can't hold that up against him, I suppose. You know. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you know, shout out to him. Curtis Dodge just got signed as well. Yeah, that's what uh, we want. Yeah, and so. like the Welsh scene's insane. You know, there's so much, uh, so much talent. You mentioned some of your guys from my uh, from your gym. They're fighting on the Cage Warriors this week. Um, yeah, we... You're expecting some victories. I am. I uh, got Ben, uh, ben, <laughs> ben Ellis and Anna Khalid, and I think both do the job 100%. They've got my goal. I've got. i seen better. You know, we've seen. Um, we've changed things around in the gym a bit now, and everyone's working a lot better together. Um, so this, 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 both capable of winning. They both. I, you know, I, I both of them put them in easy fights. There's not. There's no stepping stone there. You know. They, yeah. They both. Uh, each of their fighters are there to win. Um, same as you know, same as Ben and Aaron. Um, so you know, they got fights. They got fights. I'm, uh, I'm confident they could uh, can win and, and obviously make me look good <laughs> as a coach. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. And then um, I, I can't not mention, but uh, we got Mason Jones, uh, fellow yeah. Welshman, obviously going to be only the third Cage Warriors fighter to hold two belts in different weights at the same time. Do you think he will do it? Yeah, I think he will, mate. I'd be, I'd be doing a favour, you know, I'd be, do quite a bit of training with all different guys around my weight. Um, so I'd be training with, like, Owen and Mason separately. Yeah. And um, I think he could do it, mate, you know. I think he's got the um, the pressure to put it on. Uh, what's his name now? Uh, uh, I forget his name. Well. Proctor. Proctor, Proctor. No. Yeah, he's got, he's got the ability to put the pressure on there, and I think that's uh, going to be a good way to beat him, you know, to stay in his face. So hopefully the move up from Welter isn't going to affect him too much. He felt strong wrestling not so long ago. Um, so, yeah, I think he could do the job as well, mate. I think he could do it. Yeah, it's be it's interesting how, heart, he, like. how he adapts. Like, yeah, and I think so. I think so. Um, okay, and lastly, uh, just a couple of general MMA questions. If you could pick any fighter from your weight class from any time, dead or alive, uh, to, to fight, who would it be? Uh, I don't know. I just gotta go GSP and him. Why not? I'll have a fight with him. Yeah, yeah he's, he's the best a pop, ever. Pop, he's, he's popular a, choice. He's the best ever, isn't he? So, uh, well, the way so, as well. So that was uh, going to be my next question, actually. In your opinion, who is the greatest MMA fighter of all time? I, I, I mean, I wouldn't just say MMA, but I mean, he embodies so much about martial arts, not just MMA. He embodies everything: you know, yoga, karate. You know, he does gymnastics. He does everything. You know, and like. I got a real, it's a real soft spot for people like that, you know. Cause similar to myself, you know. I'm not a cage fighter, you know. I'm a yeah. mixed martial artist. Um, yeah, and I think people label it as cage fighters all the time, don't they? Like places like talk sport and and I like like mainstream maybe media, particularly in the UK. You all kind of get listed as or labelled as cage fighters, and they yeah. kind of make it out to be this brutal, unlicensed fighting sometimes. But it's like yeah. you know, it's anything it's, but it's, that. Yeah, no, God, no. The amount of tests I have to get to fight, you know, compete is uh, unbelievable, you know. Spot on. And what you find is the majority, I wouldn't say all, but the majority of fighters, uh, you know, are very martial art based in the way they they respect the sport, they respect the individual martial arts and, you know, this, that and the other. It's uh, very much a martial arts mentality rather than a, you know, like a cage warrior, a cage fighter mentality. Yeah, yeah. 
At least that's uh, my experience from the outside and speaking to well, people. You know, the sport has grown to a point now where you know if, if you've got guys on good shows, you're a trusted coach, and if you put in that these, you're gonna lose your respect of your gym, and uh, you know respect is is, is what, we, what we got, you know. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, very last question: what I've been doing is getting uh, fighters to give me some predict, couple of predictions for some of the big fights coming up. Uh, so we this Saturday we've got uh, Israel Adesanya versus Paulo Costa. Uh, who do you think is going to win the middleweight title? Adesanya, just too tall, too good, too rangy. I want a shorter guy to win Costa, but it's going to be Adesanya. Yes, yeah, I'm the same as you. I, uh, I I believe Adesanya will will win it. But um, Danny and we had Tom Moons on on uh, for this week's. Daddy Batten show. They both went with Paulo Costa, as did Ben, and I think Aaron did as well. So everyone who I've been asking has been going for Paulo Costa, but I just got a feeling uh, with oh, Adesanya. Yeah. And um, the other one I was going to ask you about, which is going to be just insane, um, or the other two, should I say? You got Brian Ortega versus uh, Korean Zombie, which I think is just going to be a bit of a banger, shall we say? Um, do you see taking that one? I see the Korean zombie. I just just love the way he fights. So just... <laughs> Exciting, isn't he? It's good fun. It's good fun. Again, it's one of those fights you enjoy. You enjoy your life. Yeah, it is. It's just one of those fights where you've got to sit back and just enjoy it for what it is. And speaking of bangers and fights that you should just sit back and enjoy, uh, Khabib versus Justin Gaethje. Yeah. Will you be watching that? I'll watch it. Yeah, I'm gonna be watching it. it who's um, gonna win? Who's gonna win, though? In your opinion, your your educated and professional opinion, who is taking that fight? This is gonna be so hard to stop Khabib doing what he wants to. You know, you're a monster. Um, yeah, he is a monster, and I think what Gage is gonna have to do is have to really do some damage to him early on. That's gonna keep him a little bit, you know, guessing, questioning his takedowns, and just yeah. Other than that, yeah. it's going to be 25 minutes of, of how much can you take, you know. Yeah, it's brutality. And I think I do think that Justin Gaethje will be his toughest toughest opponent yet. Yeah. yeah. Because yeah. Uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, off the top of my head, I think Justin Gaethje is a he is like a, a wrestling champion, like the NC was in America, NCAA um, yeah. champion. Like I, I think. Just trying to have a quick look, and I'm pretty sure he's an NCAA champion wrestling. So he's by no means. Uh, a mug from the wrestling point of view, yeah. and no, he's it was certainly a got. Leg, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. Uh, I what I mean is, I think he's more of a challenge for Khabib from the wrestling point of view than perhaps Conor McGregor was, for instance. Yeah, yeah he's back. He's Invader back, yeah. is back. I'm trying to lick my ears, he is the fucker. Gotta yeah. love the dogs. But um, do you, do you see Khabib taking that? Do you? Yeah, but it'd be nice to see some change. You know, as in like the shuffling of the cards with Gaethje uh, winning it and revitalizing the the division. Yeah, I'd like to see Gaethje take it just from a. He's so exciting to watch. Yeah. And uh, I like fights nice, like that. It'd be nice to see like um, Khabib, you know, coming back from that. Yeah, see how he yeah. goes with a bit of adversity, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Not very well, well uh, with the loop, but... No, these guys, it's, a fair, it's a good old division there with Ferguson and yeah. a couple of others. But um, yeah, hey, Lewis, I appreciate your time, mate. Where could people watch your fight? On Bellador um, 247. I think it's streamed in quite a few places now. I think it's on CBS yeah. in America. It's on Sky Sports, Channel 5. They've uh, really ramped up their, their broadcasting abilities now, Bellator. So it's yeah, it's a couple of years ago, it was impossible to find Bellator uh, in the UK. Like, you had to go really searching around to find it. But, um, yeah, I, I was going to say it's on Sky Sports now, isn't it, live? And I think, yeah. is Channel 5 live or is it in the next day? I'm not I sure, no but idea, yeah. it's there. You know, it's, it's there for people to watch. I encourage them to watch it because it's going to be a good card. And uh, for Welsh fans, it's quite the month coming up for uh, yeah. Welsh fighters. Huge, huge. Cage Warriors is going to be insane this week, and uh, and then we've got Bellator. And I, I'm sure we'll see a couple of. Uh, well, I would be surprised yeah. if we see a couple of Welsh fighters on Fight Island in the UFC as well. Yeah, so I don't uh, think that's long either. It's exciting, shall we say, for mm. MMA fans. Lewis, thank you for your time, mate. And, uh, of course, best of luck with your fight. I'll be tuned in. And uh, maybe you can come back on and have a no chat worries. with us when you've uh, picked up the victory, as it were. Cheers, mate. <laughs>